Hi there, my name is Carrick Harvey and I'm an associate professor in the School of Media and Public Affairs at George Washington University in Washington, DC. I'm going into my 30th year at UW, so I've also had the opportunity to serve in a number of administrative capacities there. Most recently, I finished a stint as the program director for the GW Film Studies program. And before that, I ran both the radio, television, film program and the electronic media program also with GW. I'm um, still core teaching faculty in the film studies program there. My research interests uh, complement each other on both the creative side and the social science side, or at least on a good day, it feels like they complement each other. On the social science side, I've been interested for many years in looking at ways of adapting uh, some anthropological technique, uh, a fair amount of material from performance studies and plain old role-playing and uh, dramatic method as tools in an ethnographic toolkit, in other words, as uh, methodologies for knowledge discovery in the qualitative social sciences. And that leads me to, um, to pull in some of my both pre and parallel PhD work in film and live theater and uh, community television, some radio drama as well. So I've been very lucky in that regard. And it, uh, it has led to many wonderful opportunities at common ground conferences all over the world, the ability and the opportunity to speak on those projects. On the, um, on the more traditional social science side, uh, not the social science side that incorporates the creative work that I still do as an active and working uh, playwright. Uh, on the more traditional social science side, I have been for many years working at the intersection of media technology and culture. Some of that was intentional. I got my PhD just as the internet was hitting the world stage. Some of that was serendipity. I arrived here in Washington DC just as the people who were going to be charged um, or eager, or in some rare cases both, to find ways of developing public life in, around, and in some cases in spite of, not just the internet, but then after that cellular telephone uh, traffic and of course today's social media, were, um, were realizing that that's what was in store for them. And so I became part of a cadre of uh, academics and uh, kind of thought entrepreneurs uh, to give ourselves kind of a more highfalutin name than it felt like at that time, who were part of that startup in Washington and thus uh, in a regulatory capacity uh, and to some degree an oversight capacity, um, certainly a policy development capacity uh, in subsequent years. My two most recent activities illustrate how these two different sides of my work in the university, again, hopefully complement each other. My most recent academic publication was this, the 1600 page encyclopedia of social media and politics that I did um, for Sage publications. Um, and uh, It's still to some degree the only one of its kind. Uh, very, very lucky, incredibly lucky to have the opportunity and the honor of being part of that project. And then the most recent, actually my current, um, creative work that still has a social science agenda to it is writing and producing a, um, a purpose-built one-act play in preparation for the next presidential electoral cycle. And this play will serve as the centerpiece for a, um, a series of data collecting exercises that I'll do around it as, um, as uh, intentional audiences react to both the play itself and the questions and issues that it might raise. So that's me in a nutshell, um, and at least from the professional perspective. And I just want to close by saying I am absolutely thrilled to be part of this group and deeply, deeply honored to be part of the advisory board for it. I have been a gleeful and enthusiastic common ground participant for most of my time at GW, and I have always enjoyed the conferences hugely. and never once have I walked away from a common ground conference, publication, or experience without having a whole new range of absolutely luscious things to think about. So thank you for being here. Thank you for having us here. And thank you for allowing me personally to be part of this experience.